I'm back with another Ben Film Borax separator test. This time is a piece of Borax paper, except I used full strength uh, white glue on both sides of it to to encase the borax. And it's more like rubber this time. Graphite and titanium again, no electrolytes. See what we can get with just water and the thing. Alright, here goes our graphite on there. And then our new separator. Again, this titanium dioxide and water. Alrighty. Here we go. As Jackie Gleason would say. That's what we get. And we're at starting at one sixteen eight. All right, let's see what we got to start with. We started with a uh, eighty milliamps last time. And now we have 76. But it's so 76 and what was our initial voltage? Um, damn, I forgot. 116. and it was slightly dropping. We're at uh, 96 already. And I'll be back when it's uh, full charge. Okay, we're back to the point where it's charging real slow. And you can see it's at 104. 104.5. But uh, we're going to go ahead and test it right in here. 104.6. So we're 104.6. And our amps at this time are 89. I think I saw. Climbed to 89. again and it looks like the cell is pretty stable now just very slowly rising we are at 102.8 and we'll hold it there well 102.9 but it's a real slow rise and let's check the amps we're hoping for a big jump here 80.92 went up again 92 but it climbed again that means it's not quite stable yet and we're at uh, 102.9 alrighty I'll be back when it's charged again alright I'm back again and now our voltage is peaked again and you can see we're at uh, 1.016 and 1.017 and let's see what our amps are 108 again it went up we're seeing the same pattern except it's uh, more prolonged we're going to get more self charges out of this 
see the self-charge going on. Oh, God damn it, I shorted it out again. I hate that. Alright, so we're at, it's, uh, down to 63 and, and climbing. Pretty fast. The, the self-charges now are like taking uh, 10 to 15 minutes. But you can see we're, we're storing more uh, energy. So that would explain the longer self-charge times. Alright, I'm back again. And with another surprise, although probably shouldn't be a surprise. Look at our voltage now. 1025. We're actually gaining in voltage. 1026. How about that? Here we go. Let's see what we get this time. 96. So it went down a little bit. I expected it to go higher. Alright, that might have, may have been our peak. 96. And we were at 102. 102.5 Alright, let's do it one more time and uh, see what happens if that was really the peak or not. I'll be back. Alright, back again. And this time we are at 101.015 pretty good. 0.015 and it was 90 at least. Okay, so we're starting to on the downside curve, but that's the sixth cycle we've been through and we're still getting uh, 90 milliamps. So uh, this is definitely uh, a longer lasting battery. So let's, uh, let's go one more one more time on it and see what it does at seven discharges. Alright, back again. And we are now at 1.007. So in the same ballpark, just a little bit lower. See what our amps are. And we have 100. Well, how about that? We have not quite peaked yet, doesn't look like. We've got a... It's still structuring itself, it looks like. 1.007. We had a drop in voltage, but an increase in amps. This thing is still structuring itself. So we're going to get a lot of cycles out of this, looks like. And we're going to try it again. Alright, we're back for another run. And this time you can see our voltage is 1.005, so it's almost the same as the last time. The discharge at 1.006. Here we are. What are we going to get this time? 108 again. Uh-huh. We're going back up. And that self-charge was a little faster uh, this time, too. Ooh. Before I accidentally short it out. I know I, I can't waste a lot of time showing you a long self charge. It just adds too much to the thing. But that was our uh, eighth discharge. Alright, I'll be back with number nine. Alright, we're back for the ninth discharge. And check this out. This time it's climbed back to 1011. So we've got another increase in, uh, in voltage going on. So 1.011 is our voltage. Let's see what our amps are. This goes up again. I'm going to be amazed. Alright, come on, baby. Here we go 103.
so a slight decrease and we've got nine and we're still holding over a hundred so before I accidentally short it again show you that it's still self-charging this might go for a long time we might have a really good separator going there so let's go for number 10 I'll be back alright here's the tenth self charge and you can check this out our voltage is now 101.014 so we've gained in voltage again let's see what happens to our amps now are we going to go to a higher level or are we going to drop back off a little bit so we're at uh, what is that 1.014 right Climb to 102. Boy, it's getting real consistent, though, isn't it? 102 milliamps, and we were at 1.014 volts. All right, I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to go right back to. Uh, I'll be right back when it charges again. We'll see if it goes 11. All right, we're back for number 11. It's amazing. I didn't think it would go this far I thought for sure the separator would break down by now but look where we're at we're at 1.017 so here we go is it going to hang in there 101 it is hanging 1.017 seven volts and 101 milliamps I believe this battery is still structuring or it's structured one thing about it I haven't given it a drop of water and this experiment has gone for more than three hours let's uh, well I was going to show you but we need to shut it off so I can get another cycle and go for number 12 alright we're back for number 12 and we're going to have to make this the last one because uh, I know this video is getting long I've been trying to keep each segment short but it's still probably going to have to cut it so we, we've got uh, 1.00 and it looks like it's just going to switch to 1.001 here we go 113 new record how about that this baby is just getting better it's str look at the I'm seeing a patterns here look at our uh, it peaked at 108 on the fourth on the fourth uh, cycle and then four cycles later it peaked at 108 again and then four cycles later it peaked at 113 okay I'm back now let's uh, let's take a look at this cell it's been three three and a half hours or so and it's dry in here and I haven't given this cell a drop of water to get it apart here Ooh, it is stuck now that is stuck I'm glad I have the copper on the back of this titanium is just as stuck that borax structured every drop of water in that cell that's why it didn't lose any how about that I think we just uh, just made a, a solid state biocell <laughs> that could have gone on for who knows how long we'll have to run another test and right. thanks a lot for watching